Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be unboxing the Dart Zone Max Outlaw. This is a revolver pistol that uh, has been in the works for a while from Dart Zone, and uh, we're just going to kind of enjoy the unboxing process. We'll get a few chronograph numbers, but nothing uh, substantial in this video. For our full review, make sure you check out the video later on this week. Uh, or possibly next week, depending on when this goes live, uh, for all the juicy goodness as far as the numbers are concerned. But for today, this video, let's just enjoy this process. So, uh, looking at the top of the front of the box here, we have a nice large picture of the uh, blaster itself. You can see that it's hammer primed, cylinder fed, and it's shooting half length darts exclusively. It's got a, a range claim of up to 125 feet. Um, but it's got some new uh, coloring for the Max series, not kind of going away from their red and dark gray for more of a what looks like a white and a red, similar red color. Um, but uh, this is a blaster that we've been kind of looking forward to for a while now. Um, the Hammer Shot has kind of been the kind of go to uh, modded blaster, and this is kind of more of the pro level series out of the box, ready to go. So um, this is the Outlaw. Uh, they claim pro level here at the top here. Uh, we've got age 14 plus. Uh, before we open it up, let's flip it over. Uh, looks like you've got uh, eye protection included, hammer action. Uh, there's the cylinder again. And it looks like uh, we get a safety trigger and auto advancing half length dart cylinders times two. So it does look like we get an additional cylinder. And that looks like about it. Um, the nice thing that I like about the Max series, I think it's all of the Max ones at this point, is they offer this uh, flip up uh, window so you can actually see the product itself. And oh look, I bought it from Target. It looks like we got it for $31.99 before tax. So I believe it's supposed to be $40. I don't remember, I'm not sure, but I got mine for 32 bucks. Um, so you get your two cylinders, there's your iPro, the blaster itself, and looks like you get, what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve darts. So enough to load it up twice, uh, load each cylinder up once. Um, so yeah, looking nice. So the white is actually kind of like an off-white. It's not like a true, it's almost like a, like a light gray or heather, no, I don't want to say heather gray. It's more of like an off-white. Um, that hammer though, whew, that's nice. So let's go ahead and unbox it and uh, we'll um, give you our first impressions. All right guys, so here is the blaster itself in the two uh, cylinders, six round cylinders. Um, this is really nice. Uh, the cylinders themselves are, they have a little bit of mechanical give to them. So I think that's really more for helping with like loading and stuff like that. Uh, but one of the cool things that I noticed right off the bat is the trigger pull. It's kind of snappy, but also if you look here, you can see the sil you can see the metal barrel or aluminum barrel, and when you start to pull the trigger, the barrel itself retracts into the cylinder to make a seal around uh, for that dart, which is really really cool. Um, so it comes with, like I said, twelve ruby darts. I've got some brand new ones already open, so we're not going to bother with the ones in the package. Uh, so let's go ahead and load these up. They only fit in one way. Uh, this end is too too small to actually fit. I got a little bit of debris on that. Anyway, um, so yeah, they only fit in one way. So we'll go ahead and load her up. Actually, while we're at it, we'll just load up both of them. Give a little bit of firing demo. They go in nice and snug, which is nice. It's a good fit, not too tight. And they're not going to fall out so there's no like storage for the for the extra one um so i imagine if you're going to run extras you'll probably just have them in like a dump pouch and then when you're when you're done uh with an empty you'll have a second dump pouch that you'll drop them into um so then they just load in here it looks like they just drop in and that can't be that easy is it that easy there it goes. I was going to say, like, okay, so there's a little bit of snap on, on the front end here. And it looks like it's free rotate either way. Um, you do have access to load a dart through here, not so much on the other side. So you can load one dart in. Um, and let's see here on the prime. 
Okay, so on the prime, it's doing the rotate, and it's rotating the next um, shot that you loaded. So if you load from here on an empty, that's the next problem that's uh, going to be loaded in. So we do have a fire uh, safety switch here. Um, safe, S for safe, F for fire. Um, straight iron sights on the top, which is nice. Um, looks like there's enough space in here for a friction threat uh, scar barrel, which is nice to see. Um, and then uh, as far as uh, picketing rail, you don't have any up top, you just have your iron sights. You do have this kind of faux rail here. It doesn't have any like the notches in it. So you'll have to use, if you're gonna put any type of like laser or light, you'll have to use one that has like the clamshell um, type of ability, not the ones that actually feed into the uh, the actual teeth of a picketing rail. So that's pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and switch it over to fire and we'll, wow, that's nice. Now the prime is significant. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I can do it one-handed. Let's see if I can do it. I can do it left-handed too. Um, but it's uh, it's definitely a strong spring in there. And then to release it, um, I guess you just push it out. Yeah, I guess it, yeah, it just pushes out. Okay, so the retention in there must be like spring-loaded. Okay, I see. So... Yep, and just reload it with a new one. And that snap is rough. I like that you can sp it freeze, it spins freely both ways, which is nice. Not too bad. I mean, it's a definitely, it's a, it's a heavy prime. So you're going to want to uh, make sure that your nerfer um, is, uh, has a, you know, some nice forearm strength. Um, it's a decent size grip. Um, so I've got adult large hands, um, so it's nice, comfortable grip. And again, this is just first impressions. Um, I like this loading mechanism here. Like it's got a nice, a nice kind of tray that you can just slot your um, uh, rounds. And actually, let's do this. So if we go back one. Oh, that fits nice. I like that. That's a nice. That's a nice touch. They gave you a kind of like a nice kind of well to just put your dart in, and you could, you know, you don't even have to be looking. You just need to slap it and slide it in, and then you're good to go. So, I like that. So let's get some numbers here. Um, let's see. Without shooting my hand, helps if you prime it. 135.2, So yeah, so like kind of like that 110 range up to 122, 125, which the box did claim uh, 125 feet. So that's probably about how hard um, you'd expect, you know, for, uh, I mean, and again, this is a sidearm. This isn't going to be your primary, uh, but being able to scavenge bla uh, darts off the ground, have a dump pouch full of darts, you slide it in and it just, it's just smooth. That is, that is nice, right? Just pop it in and slide it in. Gosh, that is so nice. What happens if you have a dart? That isn't all the way seated. So that one I don't have all the way seated. If I pull the lever action, it does not go. So yeah, it's definitely gotta be in there. But man, that's nice. <laughs> I, I can't do that one-handed. Or two-handed with my offhand. That's, it's easier to do with your thumb. I like that, that's nice. And you can also prime it, so it's primed right now, and you can freely spin uh, the wheel or the cylinder. Man, that's awesome. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, 
yeah, this side is nice looking. Um, I didn't think I'd actually care for the white as much because it's kind of like an off off white almost. Um, I really like the striker. Um, it's kind of a uh, color scheme and that same dark gray that was on like the Mark uh, one, Mark II, the pistol for the Mark II. Um, I really, I really kind of wish it was that gray, but uh, with the profile, this is very much, um, uh, yeah, we need to make this look at like a toy as much as possible. But yeah, this is, this is just too much fun. I mean, even loading it and, you know, kind of like jolt style almost just, you know, got one in the chamber. So anyway, all right, guys, well, that is the Dart Zone Max Outlaw um, available at Target. Like I said, I've just picked mine up. It was $32. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely consider uh, picking one up um, for yourself or sidearm. This is a perfect sidearm, like absolutely, you know, it's great for plinking. Um, but it's uh, there's a lot of versatility here. And the nice thing is... The profile is slim enough that it'll fit into a lot of holsters. Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, that's the outlaw. So make sure uh, you uh, like and subscribe, do all that stuff. Leave a comment down below if you've seen one yet or picked one up yet. And uh, make sure you keep an eye out for the actual review uh, coming out later this week, early next week. Um, thanks for watching, guys. In the meantime, we did unbox uh, our, our Nightingale, the full auto version. So definitely check out that video here. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.